Okay, friends. Now let us going to talk about uh, the symmetry or uh, operations uh, of different proteins uh, and how the protein molecules are being arranged to maintain the symmetry. Now, if we take uh, the symmetry of the C3 here in this case, which is an oligom of the C3 symmetry, has a single threefold rotational axis that you can see here in the green uh, color. That means uh, the, that the rotation of 360 degree is being carried out by 120 degrees will move each pro uh, protomer to the equivalent position with uh, another promoter. Okay, only by making one subunit can we can we can see the result of such rotation only uh, only by marking one subunit so if you mark one subunit and look for uh, the rotation of uh, of 120 degree it will uh, it will make uh, the positions so so that if you look at this angle in between this two we have the 120 degree angle so if we uh, stabilize one there and and look for the orientation of other subunit it will rotate 120 degree okay now an oligom with D2 symmetry has three uh, multi uh, f three actually three mutually uh, perpendicular two-fold axis of symmetry as you can see one here and so it's a two-fold ax uh, axis and that means the rotation of 360 degree uh, uh, rotation of 360 divided by two which means 180 degrees about any of the axis will move each promote uh, protoma to the equivalent position uh, ano of another promoter so 180 degree change uh, one prom protomer will will have a po position of the another protomer in this case now each colored protomer can be rotated to exchange the positions with each of the other protomer okay now uh, this is the d2 a rotational about one axis followed by the rotation about the second axis will always be equivalent to a rotation about the third axis that's the thing uh, for this purpose because it is having the two-fold symmetry in this case in this example a rotation about the axis one as we can look followed by the rotation of axis uh, axis two is equivalent to the rotation of axis three so this axis three is a result of the rotational uh, impulse of axis one and axis two both okay